What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 10 up to iOS 10.2 device without a computer after your seven day certificate has expired. So as you guys know, or if you don't know, after seven days of jailbreaking your device, if your device either runs out of battery and shuts down or you reboot your device, you will not be jailbroken anymore. So normally what you would have to do is you'd have to plug in your device into your computer and then re-jailbreak your device like you did the very first time that you jailbroke your device. Now keep in mind that if you do not run out of battery or you do not reboot your device after that seven day certificate has expired, then you are still going to be jailbroken and you're gonna to continue to be jailbroken until your battery runs out or you reboot your device or shut down your device. So there seems to be a lot of confusion there, so I just kinda of wanted to clear some things up in that regard. That's why you hear a lot of people talking about getting a one year certificate so you don't have to re-jailbreak your device after every seven days. If your device runs out of battery, you shut it down or reboot. Now the method that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video, I did not discover myself. It was actually discovered by Tech Labs. So if you guys wanna check him out, I'll put a link in the description below to his video where he shows you how he did it on his iPad. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a couple of things. First, I wanna show you this app and it's called Cert Remain Time. So if you download this jailbreak app called Cert Remain Time, it tells you how long your jailbreak app is going to still be available. So when it's going to actually expire. So you can see right here, if I swipe over to this app right here and we open that up, you can see that it says that my jailbreak app is still valid for three days and six hours. So it tells you the tool that's detected, Yalu 102, and then expiration, the creation. So this is when I jailbroke my device. This is the expiration, so when my jailbreak will stop working after my battery dies or I reboot. And you can see how long the certificate duration is, it's seven days. So after I saw his video and I checked my devices to see if any of my devices were available to try this method, and this is actually the closest one that I have just because I jailbroke it again on the 19th and I have to wait another three days and six hours before I can actually try this specific method. So instead of waiting three days and six more hours to post this video, so what I did was reach out to Tech Labs on Twitter and asked him to take a couple of pictures for me to make sure that, you know, that he didn't spoof his video, which of course I know that he didn't. I just wanted to provide you guys with some type of proof other than his video in this video. So what I did was I told him to download the Cert Remain Time uh, from Cydia. He downloaded it and he sent me a picture and this is the picture that he sent me here. So you can see here that it says that it had expired seven days and one hour ago. But you can see right here in this picture, same time, it's only two minutes later, that he has a picture of Cydia open and it's on iOS 10.2. Now is that irrefutable proof? No, it's not, but I do trust Tech Labs. I don't think he would fake a video like this with a subscriber base that he has. So the way that you do this, it's actually really simple. I'm actually surprised that nobody thought of this before. So I kind of want to walk you through this entire process. So if I go over here to Yalu and let's just say that my certificate was actually expired, it would not even open up. It would give you a little pop-up that says Yalu 102 is not available anymore. So you can see right here, if I go into my settings and I tap on general and I go down here to date and time, I'm gonna to toggle off set automatically. So let's just say that I wanna go sometime in the future. We'll just say March 19th. That means that the certificate is definitely not valid anymore. So if I tap on it, you can see Yalu 102 is no longer available. So this is basically just tied, that seven day certificate is just tied to the date. So what we wanna do is we open this up and let's just say that it's been expired for 20 days. For whatever reason, it's been expired for 20 days. So what we wanna do is go back in time 20 days. So we tap on this, we tap on date and time, we tap on March 19th, and we're gonna go all the way back, we'll just say to, we'll just say to February 28th. So we go all the way back at least 20 days, and then we tap back over here, Okay, that wasn't enough. Let's go back one more day or two more. Let's just go back to the 26th. So now we're in the 26th, we open this up and you can see that it's going to open up or launch the application. So normally, if you're not jailbroken at this point, there's gonna be a little go button, which you can see right here. This is actually Tech Labs video. So you can see him tapping on go after he has changed the date and it re-jailbreaks his device. 
So this is actually really, really simple and it's really helpful in case your battery dies and you're out on the road or whatever and you have to plug it back in and once you boot it back up after you've got enough battery, then you're not gonna be jailbroken. And if that seven day certificate has expired, then you can do this trick in order to re-jailbreak your device right there on the road without having to use any type of computer. This is also gonna be really helpful for people that don't have computers and they only have their device. Maybe you borrowed your friend's computer in order to jailbreak your device, but once that seven day certificate is up and you become unjailbroken, you don't have a way of re-jailbreaking your device. Well, this is the way to do it. So again, all you have to do download cert remain time and just have this on your device. This way you can kind of keep track of when your certificate expires. And then what you really wanna look at is the creation date. This is going to be a point of reference for you. So if it was created on 219, then it was absolutely for a fact valid on 220. So just think of the day after it was created and then always keep that in the back of your mind. That way you can always go back to February 20th and re-jailbreak your device when you use the date trick here. Now another thing you wanna keep in mind is after you've jailbroken your device, then you can put your date back to the current date on your device. It's not going to affect anything. You only have to move the date back when you jailbreak your device. Hopefully all of this makes sense. If it doesn't, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Of course, I will try to answer any guys' questions that you have about this just because I know that I couldn't walk you through the process, but it's literally just because I don't have a device right now that has an expired certificate. But you guys are probably smart enough to see that this is going to work, so give it a shot if your certificate has been expired and let me know if it works for you in the comments below. I have no doubt that this method is going to work, so hopefully this will help you guys if you run into this type of situation at any time. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, Make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Share this with your friends because it's really, really helpful to have a method of re-jailbreaking your device without a computer. All right, guys, if you want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak or everything Apple or anything else that I talk about, then be sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.